welcome again to the AWA. This is Jake, and it is now Thursday. Uh, I mean, it's Wednesday. I'm recording this the day before I'm supposed to post it online, so there's no confusion. September 5th, that's when this day is. But you'll see it on Thursday, because I totally didn't post it on the same day I recorded it, because that would be procrastination, and I don't do procrastination. Anyways, so, one of the last videos that I saw was Joe's video on Monday. Well, actually, I've seen all the videos since then, too. But, except Thursday's video with Emin, because it's not Thursday yet, and she hasn't posted it yet. Anyways, Joe said something that was incredibly minute and remarkable. He was mentioning how creatures, and they have to be in their natural habitat, and it doesn't really make sense for something to stray from that habitat. And the example he used was like a giant fire demon in the snow. I find that horribly sensitive and offensive. I mean, why couldn't a fiery demon go to the snow? Is there something that stops him? Are the fiery demons not allowed in the snow? Are they too fiery for Joe? I, I don't understand why he would have to exclude such a particular being from a particular setting that's almost as bad as saying like since Joe is British he can't go into I don't know a British store but uh, let's say the British equivalent of Barnes and Nobles whatever that may be the bookstore the giant bookstore is that what you want Joe do you want the inability to go into certain places just because a fire demon can't go to the snow. See, I think that's really, really mean of you. And because of that, I decided to do something I hate to do. I wrote a poem. Why do I hate poems? Because I suck at it. But I was bored and I had no other reason to do anything. And I was like, oh crap, what should I do my video on? So I was like, oh. Poem, I guess. So, here we go. The title of the poem is A Fiery Demon in the Snow. Anyways, there was a fiery demon in the snow. He had nowhere else to go. Flowergan was what he was named. His obsidian skin was inflamed. None knew his name, it seemed, for if they did, they would control the fiend. In the freezing cold temperature, he wandered around unsure. For a fiery demon in the snow wasn't where they belonged long ago. Many mocked him secretly, knowing if they faced him, it would be deadly. Flowergan took it in stride, killing those who mocked him with pride. For a fiery demon in the snow, he didn't like those who stooped so low. Mocking a helpless sixteen-foot flaming giant wasn't making him any less defiant. He stayed in the cold weather, not as much as wearing a feather. His internal heat kept him hot, and melting the snow around him a lot. One fateful day, a man thought he had the name of the demon written on his pad. Approaching Flarigan, this mighty Joe, struck up a conversation like so. Joe began with a simple hello. Flarigan replied with a near incinerating bellow. Demon, I know your name. Shocked, Flarigan said he was game. Clearing his throat, Joe spoke again. Dearest demon, you are Florigan. Laughing, the demon did reply. It's Flarigan, you damn fly. Raising his hand above his head, Joe was smashed and quite dead. Upon the white snow, covered in blood, Joe's remains exploded, unlike a dud. For upon this cold mountain, did the spray almost resemble a fountain. For a fiery demon in the snow, he had only the climb as a foe. I spent about four minutes on that and typed as fast as I can. But yeah. So, oh, and of course, it's fictional. No resemblance to any red-headed British people named Joe. Anyways, have a nice day.